everybody welcome back to the channel okay guys I got another little pickup for you today this time is a pair of locking pliers that I got now I had uh, had a pair a couple pair get damaged at work um, one of them I actually returned to Lowe's and they exchanged them out for a new pair the other pair were actually a uh, no name brand ones so my uh, my job had to uh, replace them and gave me these as a replacement for the other ones that I had damaged so this one here, these are Irwin Vice Grip. Uh, the, it says the originals, it's 1924. Now these do have the Irwin Lifetime Guarantee with them. And they are of uh, a heat treated steel construction. And the part number for these is 4935576. And these ones here say, uh, well they're 10 CR which I guess is a common model number. And these ones here are three times, the, uh, says they're three times the gripping pow power of, uh, I guess, regular vice grips. And you look on the back here, I guess they're packaged out of uh, Joppa, Maryland, but they are made, it says they're made in China. And I actually peeled this, uh, started peeling this sticker off. So underneath of it, it says made in Mexico. So maybe there's another different pair of vice grips that they make that are made in Mexico but these ones here are I guess apparently are made in China now these say that they are uh, three times the gripping power and I think that's because of the teeth and then if you can get a pretty good shot of them right here uh, you got teeth and you got angles coming from all different directions you got teeth facing this way teeth facing that way and then all four corners you got teeth uh, Squeezing in there, so no matter what you do when you clamp down onto a bolt, um, however you turn it, they're going to uh, bite down more whether you're spinning them this way or you're spinning it this way, whether you're on a pipe um, or on a bolt. We'll just, uh, I'll just go ahead and show you guys real quick. Uh, I got this 916 bolt here. We're just going to grab it. And you can kind of, uh, kind of see what I'm talking about here, but, uh, just grip them like that and as you can see you got teeth biting in from this angle up here this way and then you got these teeth uh, biting it from this angle here and like I said as you as you twist or turn uh, either these are gonna bite more or these are gonna bite more and uh, like I said this is a small headed bolt but if you put a larger headed bolt there you're gonna get uh, these teeth up here this teeth you might you're gonna engage more teeth onto it um, here's a bigger here's a bigger bolt so here's a, like a three-quarter bolt and as you can see when you uh, use a three-quarter bolt you get to use uh, more of the teeth will be engaged on it as well and also as you can see uh, you got this long large area right here where you can really get a bolt up in there and then in the bottom of it um, you got like a different angle like this piece right here it's kind of a flat straight up and down as these other ones are curved you know what there's these are curved this way these are curved that way and these little middle section right here they're just straight up and down so you're gonna you're gripping the bolt from multiple different kinds of angles so that's really going to help you in uh gripping whatever it is it also has the uh the uh quick release button back here off the edge of it too and also you have this uh piece in the back here the thumb wheel on it where it is a uh you can put a hex bolt in there and it's a five millimeter hex screw if you want to go ahead and clamp it onto whatever you're working on and just clamp it down to really get extra bite uh, also looking up into the jaws you do have really nice cross hatching up here on the very on the very tips of them so whatever you're grabbing that'll help you hold it and just compare these curved draw pliers to a regular pair of Irwin um, locking pliers, you can see this. The regular, the regular pair are just uh, basically straight up and down. There is no multi angles of uh, grip and bite. So that you got that going for you, and then you got the Milwaukee. Guess the same, the same thing uh, as your regular, uh, your regular vice grip uh, straight draw locking pliers. So you're just basically are clamping from up and down the top and the bottom. You're not clamp it from multiple angles and then you're also getting the same thing with the Bremen uh, the same exact thing up and up and down but you're not getting clamping all the way around and even with the uh, 
the cheapo Pittsburgh uh, pliers. Um, the teeth aren't super sharp, but uh, you're not really getting that nice big uh, arc here because you're getting a, a spot in the middle here where you can clamp up and down as well. So I just thought that that was interesting. Yeah. That. And as you can see here, uh, I don't know if you can notice on the front, but as you're pushing, locking them in, that front jaw will slide forward and then bite. It'll bite into whatever you're going into. So that's an, that's part of the, I guess, the three times locking for, uh, of the jaws here. Because you all, like I said, as you're clamping that in, that bottom jaw is sliding forward and really biting into whatever material, whether it's a... Uh, a bolt or uh, a pipe, you know, whatever it is, whatever kind of fastener or fitting you're using. But that's it, guys. I wanted to share that with you. Uh, like I said, uh, pretty cool lock and pliers. I didn't have a set of these, so it was a nice little um, nice, nice little supply, uh, surprise from my work to uh, replace with a pair of pliers that I didn't have. And these are like they were going to work out great for what I'm going to be using them for, which is usually just holding something. So, all right, guys, I just want to thank you. Like, God bless you guys, and just have a great evening. Thank you.